Hi everyone, Brett from Metropole here, and today I've got Andrew Morrams with me from Intuitive Finance. Thanks for joining me, Andrew. Pleasure, Brett. Um, I can see you're a very popular man at the moment with, uh, with lots of things happening in the finance world, and um, just wanted to get a few tips from you. Uh, first of all, what's going to happen in the short term for interest rates? We've just had a cut. Um, apparently, they're like buses and they tend to come together. Yeah. I don't know if you heard that one before, but. Uh, <laughs> one of your best. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and also, APRA, there's, there's a few rumblings there as well. Um, what do you see happening? for the rest of the year? So I think we're gonna get one definite more rate cut and potentially as early as July, but probably August, so July, August, and then they're talking about another one maybe later in the year, so sort of around November sure. uh, as a nice little Christmas present. And while that's good for us holding a mortgage, it's probably not good because it means the economy, the economy yeah. is spluttering. So we need to get some things going. If it was me personally last month, I would have probably cut rates half a percent and sent the clear message that we want to get things going. Yeah, again. Sure, sure. But, you know, I'm not the governor of the Reserve Bank. No, not yet anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you said about APRA. So we're seeing some signs of them now t at least talking about some restrictions coming off. So they're talking about servicing rates. So while interest rates go down, everyone says, oh, that's great, we can get more money. That actually hasn't been a reality because the servicing rate and the way we've had to assess anyone coming in for a home or investment loan or anything like that has remained the same. And it's remained the same for oh, three, four, five years now. It hasn't really reduced while rates have been coming down. So now there's some talk about using actual rates and buffering and we could have some rates where the average servicing rate's around seven and a quarter. Yeah. They could come down to, you know, in the sixes sure. uh, and even maybe potentially fives depending on how low rates go. Sure. And your thoughts on medium to long term, so uh, where interest rates will probably stay fairly low and after yep. might start to loosen a few more things, you think? I think we're in for a long and slow, uh, steady rate. Yep. Uh, I, don't, I don't think, you know, we're at world, world record lows, not yep. world record, but we're at record lows certainly from Australian standards. So I think it'll stay down there for a long time. I think we're in a low rate inflationary environment for a good while yet. Uh, which means you know mortgage rates will be low, yep. uh, it will be easily affordable in terms of rates and things like that. So that's what I think. I think we're at or near the property market bottoms and things like that. So I'll sure. see we'll start to see some stability based on the service and rates and things like that changing. So I think that, that'll be the key. If people can get access to more credit and finance, then I'll start, I think you'll start to see uh, the markets improve somewhat. And uh, more, also then, you know, the ability to low rates, things like that. You see some fixed rates options sure, and things sure. like that coming out. So we're in for that low, low, long and slow and, low, long and, slow and steady rates. Great, no worries. Yep. Look, thanks for the update. Um, it's always good to have a chat and uh, we'll see you soon. No worries. Cheers. Thanks.